So we just arrived in one of the most expensive cities in the world next to Hong Kong and Singapore. We are in Zurich, Switzerland, and we're gonna go show you around this city, uh, specifically the old town, because it's one of the most beautiful parts of the town. We're gonna show you how expensive things just really are. We're gonna go show you some restaurant menus, the clothing stores, as well as maybe we'll stop at a couple hair salons and check out their pricing, just so we can compare the um, the prices of here to different countries. So, um, but yeah, it's gonna be really cool, really beautiful, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. So come along and see what we are gonna show you. Very front pouch. This is actually quite cute. That reminds me of your little purse that you already have. I have like this, but like small. So we're going towards the old town of Zurich. How they say it here? They say Zurich. And what they say when they see somebody in a store or on the streets, they say, Grüezi mitanan. That means, I think it just means hello. Like, Grüezi is hello. Mitanan, I don't know if that means like, I don't know, I have to look that up. But that's what they say. Okay. 17 francs. Okay, I'm just going to show us some pricing here. So let's see what they have. 7.50 for french fries? Oh yeah, look up there. So, So that's a kebab place. This is the old town of Zurich. They have always beautiful flags in all the different old towns. Swiss flags and then usually cantonal flags. Of course the cobblestone streets. When we first arrived in Europe we were always like, oh look at the cool streets. And now I'm kind of like, yeah, it's another cobblestone street, but it is so beautiful and it just adds to the charm and the atmosphere of, of any city, really. So we're going to walk through all these little tiny streets and we're on the hunt to see and compare the pricing and, and really see if it is true that it's one of the most expensive cities in the world. Well, it is kind of expensive. It is, isn't it? I agree. But we want to really see. Because I saw, I saw some outfits for pants and t-shirts, it's like 100 francs. Oh yeah? For just pants? Those are probably and like a very like high-end. Well, we shall find out, huh? Look at the buildings, how they have all these designs in them. That's really neat. Like are those made on purpose for the pipelines? Those little designs? I don't think so. I think they're just like designs on the wall. So most people when they arrive in Switzerland, they arrive to Zurich because it's got one of the largest airports. So most international flights are from here. So you do see quite a bit more tourists, but still nonetheless, you don't see as many tourists as you do in like other cities, like let's say Rome or um, I don't know, like certain like Paris, for example. And probably one of the reasons is some people, when they come to Europe, they tend to skip Switzerland because it is so expensive. They just kind of go around it or they just come through for a day. But it's definitely a city that, and a country that you probably fall in love with because of its beauty and, and its charm and everything like that. It's cleanliness and, uh, and it's safeness. Like everything's so safe and just so pretty. Can you guys show me this menu here and tell me like the different prices? Let's see. Okay, can I see it? Yeah. So for a T-bone steak, it's 55 francs. 55 francs? Ouch! <laughs> this isn't funny. This is really Let's see what else, like a salad. So you've got here a Caesar chicken salad is 17 francs, basically 18 francs. That's equivalent to 18 US dollars. Yeah, like a ribeye steak is 50, filet mignon 64. So. One sec. Angelique thought that it's a free hotel because it has free rooms. <laughs> but we now know, right? Free doesn't mean free, it's just available. That's funny. So I wanted to share a little story about one of the things that was funny when we first arrived because right now we're like really quiet like all of us, even Chloe's quiet. But when we first arrived, we were like all the other typical, like, I don't know why it is, but Americans, not so much Canadians, but we did live in Florida for a few years, but in, in all, it, in general, Americans are quite loud. And so 
<laughs> now we think it's really funny when we see Americans on the streets in Switzerland because they talk so loud and we're like now the quiet ones but we used to be like we would come on a train sometimes and people would actually tell the kids to be quiet because here the trains are like quiet nobody talks in the trains and uh, we would arrive and be like blah 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 and singing and shouting and they'd ever be like why are you guys and more than one time the lady came up just like be quiet or you guys have to be quiet or whatever and we're like oops okay so anyway we think it's so funny now because we see all these loud americans on the street so we just laugh we're like ah americans <laughs> So look at, look at these little streets. How cool is that? Like it's just, everything is just characteristically so cool. And like colorful, the buildings have different colors. And then, oh here's what's so cool. Look at this girls. This building here, you can see like a lot of times when you see a building in Switzerland or a lot of European countries, it'll actually say the date of when it was like initially built. And so like this thing here has been here since 1826. And then like the buildings are just all so cool. Every single building is unique and different and old. The doors are old. Everything's like just so cool. Look at that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that in the distance. Girls, look at that one up there. Look at that. It says right up there. That's from 1324. I wouldn't want to go on that balcony and it collapses. That is, that's just crazy. Chloe, how much is a postcard here? It is 150 for a postcard. 150 for one postcard? How much are postcards usually? 50 cents. Yeah, about 50 cents. Depends on where you go, right? Bio muesli. Let's go in there. I'm go check it out. Let's go buy our cereal. Yeah, that, that was right. Frustuk means breakfast. Uh huh. Frustuk. We had a hard time booking where we're going tonight, right? Because we didn't understand what it, what frustuk was. Look at this. My muesli, pink granola. There, one dose. 18 bucks. Four doses. What's a dose? Is that maybe a big thing like that? Look, there's attaching just to go, mommy. Look at this. This is smart. How many of the kind? That's different, huh? Well, you just grab one and it's to go in the morning. Let's look what they look like, like that. Then this need to go. Here we go. So. Five seventy-five for hundred grams. So something like this, ready in three minutes. That's forty grams. Ooh. Let's go check out what the prices are of shoes in Switzerland. It's two hundred and forty dollars for a pair of shoes. Are you serious? Let's Look see. Look at, see that shoe? Oh, oh dear. Yeah. That's just like a normal running shoe. 215. Well, this is where we're realizing, like, pricing, right? It is. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, yeah. 280 bucks for a pair of shoes. That's just nuts. Sandals for 225. 289. 199. Every person who tries on a shoe that after she takes it outside, she sprays it with a stinky spray. Are you serious? Yeah, oh. Well, you pay a lot of money, but you get good smelling shoes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. 199. Yeah, I know. That's the highest I saw. Well, these are. That one is 440 bucks. No, 529. Here's a puzzle store. Yeah, you want to go in? Go ahead. Oh, it's not just puzzles, actually. It's and games, board games. Oh, we should find the game that I played the other day. I'm not sure. I can wait outside if ever. I want to go in. Let me go in. What's a fidget spinner cost? 10 bucks here? 13. 13. 
these are 30, these are 40, with the real pennies in them. That's 40. It goes to 45 and then it's to 25. What's cool about the $20 one, the 20 franc one, it glows? No. It says glow. I We haven't seen the, um, uh, what's it called, hair salon yet, but I wanted to check out what the prices um, were of a hair salon, and so we're still on the hunt to find that before we head out, just to check out what the prices are. But in all seriousness, it is so cool. So like everything about it still is really cool. It's just we're not like as much like wow, look at that, girls. Oh wow, check this out anymore. So kind of like oh yeah, that's kind of neat. But we're not just like in awe like we used to be. But nonetheless, it still is so cool. Like everything about it, really really cool. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. Pretty good. So yeah, look at this with flags behind us. There we go. See them all in the little streets. It's just so good. Kurakana found the price of a hair salon. So I don't speak German, but okay, let's Cut see. and go. Cut 65. Fashion Fohen. That's like a blow dry, I think. The girls and boys, it's 40. Kids, yeah. Under 16 is 40 to 65 bucks. Oh my gosh. Professional manicure.
most train stations in Switzerland. They have a whole shopping area down below and everything, so check this out. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a big 